wonder shall never end. Nigerian born nurse Omo Layo Abayomi has had a license withdrawn by the UK Nursing and Midwifery Council because she threw her hands up in the air and begged Jesus for help as a baby she was supposed to be taking care of suffered a heart attack. In an unfortunate case, Miss Abayomi 51 appeared to panic when the child who suffered from a chronic lung disease turned blue and stopped breathing in his cot at home. Apparently, taken aback by the trauma of it all, she called for divine intervention more than 20 times before the boy's mother told her to shut up. A disciplinary hearing was told that Miss Abayomi was constantly saying Jesus help him and waving her arms around. It was revealed that she provided only inadequate care by leaving the frantic mother to resuscitate her lifeless son while the father died 999. Mr. Bayomi was subsequently found guilty of a strange of charges by the NMC at a hearing in central London. During the hearing, Sidney Topping, representing Ms. Abayomi, insisted that his client's behavior had represented no more than a bad day at the office and urged the panel to let her off with a caution, but his plea was rejected. Mr. Topping said, Once in a while you have a bad day at the office, I will suggest that I will suggest that day the residents had a bad day at the office. It was no worse than that. She has bounced back since then. <laughs> During the hearing, it was revealed that the child referred to a patient A and his twin sister were born three months premature at Omartin University Hospital in Hackney, East London, and as a result suffered from a number of serious illness and so required round-the-clock care. Joanna Damikis for the NMC said Ms. Abayomi had been employed by private nursing firm Pediatric Nursing Link to look after the infants who require 22 hours of nursing care every day. Every day. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, that is uh, what we are getting. Getting who require 22 hours of nursing care every day. She added that uh, the par parents were woken by a knock on their bedroom door at 5 a.m. to find their son lying lifeless after suffering respiratory cardiac arrest. Paramedics rushed, rushed the boy to Whips Cross Hospital in Lithiumstone. East London before he was taken to Great Ormond Street Hospital on the same day for further treatment. Giving evidence, the tearful mother of the boy said Miss Abayomi had effectively abandoned her, abandoned her during the incidents. She added the nurse was constantly saying, Jesus have him and waving her hands around. She said it more than 20 times. I felt I had to do everything as at that point she was doing nothing to help my son she never offered to take the lead at any point and at no point did she suggest calling 999 i can't even charge or change what has happened to my son i know i did the best for him but the nurse just completely abandoned her duty if i can save just one other person from having to go through what we went we have been through then that is what I want to do. The panel had heard the patient. Patient A, now aged five, made a full recovery from the incident, but is still totally dependent on others of his care. <laughs> this is what we call negligence, according to them. As a professional, pray as you leave your house for work and then concentrate on your job. God is always with you. It makes no sense abandoning you, abandoning your duty, and shouting Jesus when you should be doing something practical to help an emergency situation. African and this religiosity. Okay, you are worthy of emulation for speaking straight. Most Nigerian women are mentally barren for wasting their God-given brain and asking the Lord to be doing. Even house chore to say that they are lazy is a honor. They have worse.
they will spend one hour praying to God to let them travel through a distance of 100 years safely. Apply wisdom in everything you do. Faith without works is dead. She should have employed her skills on her job as a pediatric nurse, praying inwardly for divine intervention and assistance. That's the, that's the best thing to do. That wonderful name will prove himself in your life. Don't give up. She failed in her workplace, action not name calling. Nigerians are too religious with everything. You tried as a professional professional first before calling on to God. Do your work and pray silently, not in a lawless, growing way. Our God knows our hearts and who and who it truly is. Ha wow. <laughs> UK is not Nigeria, my dear. Arrest the emergency situation and pray along. May God restore your license. Thank God for the life of your patients. Yeah, you don't even need to be worried at all because I knew that Jesus will visit, visit you. When, even if she's in Nigeria, spirituality does not mean lack of self-control. One must maintain a professional ethics while equally looking unto God for intervention. No wonder so many casualties have been recorded in Nigeria as a result of such behaviors. In many instances, even from the relatives or the patients, in the case of consideration, the nurse should have put an attitude that will strengthen the patient's parents of the child instead of giving in to the panic. <laughs> if she's panic, it's her experience. Hmm? Well, the wonderful name Jesus is greater than the UK and 999, which resembles the mark of the Antichrist. You and 999 will suffer perpetual death, but the name Jesus will live forever. Already UK and 999 are experiencing they are experiencing the world's first death, okay, Delta and Omicron. Then I waste them second uh, second hellfire. Oh, very soon for what's happened but if that's happened in nigeria Khan would have joined in the case against the nursing council for the withdrawal of the of her practicing license it will definitely come to your aid she lost license but gained eternal recognition never mind jesus has done his part bringing the boy back to life one day in life jesus christ will appear to the parents your license will be returned if if even if it is it didn't if it's not there it's a better job for you don't cry <laughs>